Landscapes are the foundation of any work, and if you try to sculpt them before, this will surprise the result. Everything looks weird, too smooth, there's no details. Sculpting is a very powerful tool, and if you learn how to do it right, it'll take your environments to a whole new level. Hello, I'm Jacob Hawishczak, and today I'm gonna be taking you through my landscape workflow from creating, basic sculpting, to using custom alpha brushes, which you'll get for free, to achieve good-looking landscapes. Let's dive into it. So to create our first landscape, let's go to Modes and choose Landscape. I'm just gonna move this window here to have more space. First of all, I'm gonna reset the location so the landscape is in the center and I'm gonna zoom out to see everything. Let's now focus on the landscape settings here, which allow you to change the size. So if you change any of these parameters, you'll be able to see that the landscape changes and understanding them will help you to quickly create proper landscapes. So, section size means how many quads we have in this medium squares. Now it's 63 and we can change it to like, for example, 127. And now we have 127 per 127 quads in these squares. I'm gonna zoom out a bit. Next parameter basically allows us to make the landscapes two times bigger. It adds new smaller squares to this medium ones. But remember, the larger the landscape, the more triangles it will have, so keep that in mind because it can get heavy. Next one. Number of components means how many medium squares we have. So we can change it to like 16 and now we have 16 per 16 squares. And resolution. Now we have uh, 4065 per 4065, which is 4 per 4 kilometers. One resolution is basically one meter. So if you want to create a right size landscape, just focus on this parameter. So these options allow you to create whatever size landscape you want. I'm gonna reset it all to default and zoom in a little bit. So I typically create two per two kilometers landscape, which is enough in most cases. So I'm gonna increase quads to 127. Then we have one kilometer and increase the section size, which also helps in optimizing terrain. And now we have two per two kilometers landscape. There's also one trick. Uh, if you want to save memory, you can increase the scale of the landscape to like 200 here. The resolution will be a little lower, but you're gonna have two times bigger landscape and the number of triangles stays the same. So sometimes this is a very good solution. I'm gonna reset it. I don't need it right now. And let's hit create. So now we have big flat landscape and before sculpting, I want to show you one more thing. So if you find you need a little more terrain in a certain area, for example, here, by clicking add button, you can basically add a new component. So for example, I want a few more segments here and just click and we have bigger landscape. And it works the other way too. So if you don't need a certain area, you can delete it. So choose delete and choose components you don't want to have. This is a very good option to optimize your landscape because while creating a game, every triangle counts, right? And if you save 100 triangles here and there, then it becomes thousands and then hundreds of thousands saved triangles. And last option, if you really need to change entire landscape, you can also resize it by clicking resize option and choosing new settings on the right here. Let's now move on to sculpting. So click here. There are a few sculpting tools, and I'm gonna talk you through some of those. First of all, Sculpt Tool, the most important one. So if you hold left click, you can see that the area height simply increases. So let's create small hill. Okay, and if you hold Shift and try to sculpt, it's reverse. So for example, I can create a hole. Nice. Or change this terrain to make it lower. So once again left click to increase and shift left click to decrease. Now, when you look on the right side, you can also edit some settings like strength, size and fall off. So I'm gonna increase size and set the fall off to, for example, zero. And now you can see that the brush is bigger. And when I try to sculpt, it's very harsh because fall off is at zero. For now, I'm gonna reset these settings by clicking these yellow arrows. So if you sculpted something like this one, 
You can also smooth it out by using Smooth Tool. So choose this one and I'm gonna smooth it out. And now it looks way better. The next very useful tool is Flatten. So for example, I don't like what I created here. So I'm gonna increase the size and strength to five and flatten it all. Sometimes it's a little laggy. So these three tools are the most important. I use them like 99% of the time. But let's be honest, even if we spend a lot of time on using these tools to sculpt everything, the landscapes just look mediocre, right? So what to do? There is one secret which makes sculpting easier, faster, and the results are way better, which is use alpha brushes. It's hard to find high quality alpha brushes on the internet for free, so that's why I created them for you. So if you go to the first in the description, you can download three 4K 16-bit alpha brushes. So grab them and let's get back to Unreal. I'm gonna create a new folder in Content Browser and call it alpha brushes. And simply drag and drop them here. Now we have to change the brush to alpha and drag and drop one of those here. Before sculpting, let's increase the strength to like five and brush size to 20,000. And I'm gonna disable auto rotate because I prefer to rotate manually here. So now just click and immediately we have good looking mountain. Let's try different alpha, for example, this one. I'm gonna decrease the strength to like 1.5, click, and again we get amazing details out of nowhere. Now I'm gonna rotate it using this parameter, and if you hold shift, it will invert the sculpt. So hold shift and click. And just look at that, it took us like five seconds, and it already looks way better than normal sculpting. One more thing. If you increase strength and size too much, sometimes it can produce these weird looking areas. And don't worry about that, you can easily fix it by choosing Smooth Tool, set the strength to something low, and simply smooth it out. Okay, let's choose Flatten Tool, increase size and strength, and flatten everything so we can start from the beginning. So now, by using all the things we learned today, we'll try to sculpt realistic landscape. I'm gonna start by using this alpha brush, set the strength to 0.5, size to like 60,000, and enable auto rotate, and start clicking. Now my main goal is to add a little variation in the, into the terrain, some here and there, just click. And when I finish, I'm gonna hold shift and sculpt again, to add even more details. So it took me like 30 seconds and already we have good looking base. Now I'm gonna focus on adding more hills. So I'm gonna choose this one, set the strength to like 3.5 and size to 40,000, select clay brush, which basically raises the terrain from the base flat landscape so the brushes won't add on each other. And I'm gonna place a few here and there to add more variation. This is my favorite brush, really. I'm gonna also place a few bigger mountains with this brush. And if you increase strength too much, it sometimes produces this weird blockiness. So I'm gonna choose Smooth Tool and smooth it out a bit. But remember to choose the strength to something low, like 0.05, because we still want to keep as much details as we can in these mountains. Uh, by the way, I wouldn't place too much of those because it's better to use custom-made background mountains with normal maps, which are more detailed, but this is topic for another video. Sculpting is a very important skill, and if you combine alpha brushes, manual sculpting and smoothing tool, and find the balance between them, you can produce amazing landscapes in minutes. So that's it. Hopefully you learned something new, hopefully now you can create and sculpt amazing landscapes. Consider subscribing for more content just like this, and if you have any more questions, please let me know.